Hi friends! Today we are going to be writing a math story. Actually, I'll be writing a few math stories. And after my examples, you can spend about 20 minutes to write your own math stories. And in 20 minutes, um, write as many as you can in 20 minutes. Okay, so I'm going to be using this picture to write my math stories. I see a boy over here, a kid. I see another kid over here and I see two kids over here. So what I'm going to say is I see two boys. There are two boys there are two boys and there are two girls on the playground. There are two girls on the playground. To make um, your writing simpler, we don't have to provide details like this on the playground. So I'm happy if you just write there are two boys, there are two girls. This is not a writing lesson, which is why I'm okay if you don't include details because we want to really focus on the math, mathematical aspect of this activity. Okay, so if your sentences are simple, that's totally, that's totally okay. So far, my um, math story says there are two boys, there are two girls. So... How many kids are there all together? There are four kids in total. So my math equation would say two, the two boys, plus, and then there are two girls, so I'm adding two, and two boys and two girls make four four kids. So there are four kids in total. So this is my math story. There are two boys, there are two girls, there are four kids in total. And the math or addition equation that goes with that story is two plus two equals four. Now if you would like to make your math story a little bit more complex, then here is an idea. So I'm still going to be talking about the kids, okay? So instead of just saying there are two boys, what you could say is um, is that there is one boy holding balloons and then there is one boy on the ground. So we can separate these two boys. Okay. So there is a boy holding balloons. There is a boy on the ground rather than on a structure. And then I could say there is a girl with brown hair and then there is a girl with blonde hair. So instead of saying that there are two girls, we can separate the girls and talk about each girl. Okay. So there is a girl with brown hair and then there is another girl. There is another girl or I, I, I will just say there is a girl with blonde hair. Now, there is one boy holding the balloons so that's one. And then there is a boy. There is one boy who's on the ground. So that's plus one. And then there is a girl who has brown hair. So that's a plus one. And then lastly, there is a girl who has blonde hair. So plus one. And all together, there are four kids. So in my math story, I want to state that in total, there are four kids. 
So one plus one plus one plus one equals four. Okay. Now, what else could we talk about in this picture? I think I could talk about the balls that are on the playground. So there are three balls. I see one, two, three balls all together. So I'm going to delete these examples. Okay. And I have written two edition math stories already. So I would like to write a subtraction math story. I see three balls on the playground. There are three balls on the playground. Now, if it's taking you a long time to sound out words and write the words, it's totally okay to keep your sentences very, very simple. So for this one, we don't have to write on the playground. We can just get rid of it. That's totally fine. If simple is okay, there are three balls. So there are three balls in total. One is, so one of the balls is a soccer ball. So one is a soccer ball. And then this one that's behind um, the slide looks like it's a volleyball. So I'll say it's a volleyball. Okay, one is a va oh, oops. volleyball. Volley starts with a letter V. Volleyball. One is a volleyball. Okay, so there are three, bo three balls. So three balls in total. So I'm starting out with three. Now, one of them is a soccer ball. So I'm taking away the soccer ball. So out of the three, one is a soccer ball. And then the other one is a volleyball. So if I, out of the three balls, if I've talked about the soccer ball, and if I talked about the volleyball, how many ball is there that I still need to talk about? There is one more ball that I need to talk about. And what ball is this? It's this one right here. And it looks like a football. Then I can say the last one is a football. football. So there is my subtraction story. So what I'm saying is out of the three balls, one is a soccer ball and one is a volleyball. And if I take away the soccer ball and a volleyball from the total number of balls, then there remains a one and this ball is a football. Okay, so here is my subtraction math story and a subtraction equation that goes with my story. Now, for those of you who want to make your story a little more complex, um, here is one idea. So I see one, two, three, four, five, six flowers. Okay, so I see six flowers. There are six flowers there are six flowers and then I have some shrubs right here so there's there are one and two shrubs um, but further in the distance I also see some shrubs or bushes but let's just call them shrubs so that we can kind of have a one word to describe them all okay so I have one two three, four, five, it's kind of hidden behind, behind a tree, and six, so far six, and I think this is 
more like a tree, like a tall tree. So I'll skip this one. And then I'll go over here. So this is seven, eight, nine, and 10. So I see 10 shrubs. There are 10 shrubs. And then the taller plants. This is a tree. And then this is a tree. And um, this plant is a little bit hidden. Part of it is hidden behind the balloons, but I think this is a tree. So this is a tree. And I think this is also a tree. It's, it's pretty tall. Okay. So I have one, two, three, four, four trees. There are four trees. Okay, so I have six flowers and 10 shrubs, so plus 10. And then there are four trees, plus four. And six plus 10 plus four equals Try to figure that out, kids. I'm gonna give you five more seconds to figure it out. That's right. Equals 20. So there are 20 plants, because flowers are plants, shrubs are plants, trees are plants. So all together, there are 20 plants. So in total, there are 20 plants. So this is a little more complex. So you can definitely challenge yourself to write a complex math story. Okay. And another way to challenge yourself is to write addition math stories and subtraction math stories, okay? Don't just write addition math stories, write both. I've given you a few examples, so now it's your turn to write some math stories and you're going to be using this picture to write your math stories. Good luck, friends. <laughs>